Hello class! How are you today? Today is a good day to start our first lesson for our second quarter. I will be your teacher for today and I am Ma'am Lady G. Serrano, Grade 7 Science Teacher. So, are you ready to listen? Just stay where you are and I hope you will enjoy our topic as you will learn some new lesson today. Before we proceed, do not forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates about our latest videos. Before we start our lesson, I have here some pictures. You are going to identify what object is shown in the picture. Are you ready, class? Okay, let's start. So, what is in the first picture? Correct! These are the plants. How about the second picture? Correct! That is an onion skin. And for the third picture? You are correct! That is a red blood cell. And for the fourth picture? Great job! That is a hippopotamus. And the last picture? You are right. That is an ant colony. Right. Some of the pictures can be identified easily because they are big enough to see by our eyes. But some are too small for us to see them just with our eyes. So, Many living things vary in terms of their physical characteristics, such as their sizes. Those living things that are too small are very difficult to observe just using our eyes. That is why we need to use a special instrument to magnify and observe these living things or specimens, and that is the microscope. Today, you will be able to learn the parts and function of a compound microscope and how to properly take care of it. Are you ready, class? So, what are you waiting for? Let's explore now the parts and function of our compound microscope. So, what is a microscope? It is an important investigative tool for studying small objects and organisms around us that cannot be seen by the naked eyes. I have here a compound light microscope. This is the most common type of microscope that is available in our school. The word compound is used because to magnify an image, a path of light from the source will pass through a path with series of lenses where each lens enlarges the image formed by the previous lens. In this process, the image of the small object becomes larger when you view it. The parts of the compound microscope are divided into three groups. First, the magnifying parts. Second, the illuminating parts. And the last, is the mechanical parts. So let us first discuss the magnifying parts. This includes the objective lenses and the eyepiece. So this is the eyepiece. The eyepiece is the part where you look at and observe the enlarged image of the object. As you can observe, the eyepiece has a written number on top of it. Do you know the use of this number? This is the magnification. It shows the number of times the image will be magnified. Next, the objective lenses. The objective lenses magnify the image you are going to observe in the microscope. So these are the objective lenses. So, the objective lenses also have their corresponding number of magnifications. But this time, each lens has different magnification. The red one is the scanner which is 4 times. The yellow one is the low power objectives or the LPO which is 10 times. The blue one is the high power objectives or the HPO which is 40 times. 
And the white one is the Oil Immersion Objectives or the OIO which is 100 times and is used to observe the bacteria. So, different microscope has different magnification. Since we have this kind of available microscope, those are their magnifications. Next, we have the illuminating parts. It provides and manage the light source to clearly see the image of an object. This includes the diaphragm and the mirror. So, the diaphragm controls the passing of light in the opening of the stage. Again, this is the diaphragm. And the mirror collects the light from the sun or from the artificial source of light. And these are the illuminating parts. The last is the mechanical parts. It provides support and protection to the other parts of the microscope. This includes the coarse adjustment knob, the fine adjustment knob, the stage and the stage clip, the arm and the base, the revolving nose piece, and the body tube. Let's first discuss the coarse adjustment knob. So the coarse adjustment knob moves body tube closer or farther away from the stage to view the image. So this is the coarse adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knob is used to make the image become clearer and more focused. So this is the fine adjustment knob. The next one is the revolving nose piece. So the revolving nose piece allows the proper position of the objective lenses. So this is the, uh, the revolving nose piece. Next is the body tube. The body tube holds the eyepiece and the revolving nose piece in place. Next one, we have the stage and the stage clip. The stage and stage clip are used to support and hold the slide in place. Next, we have the arm. So this is the arm. The arm supports the body tube that is connected to the base. And of course, the base serves as the whole support of the microscope. So those are the parts and function of our compound light microscope. But wait! Aside from knowing the parts and function of the microscope, it is also important to learn and practice how to take good care of it. So if you have the opportunity to use it, you must handle it properly and clean its parts using the appropriate material. You should also return it to a proper casing and store it in a clean, dry storage cabinet away from the laboratory chemicals. Is that all clear? Okay, if that is clear, it's time for some activity. So, I will be pointing some parts of the microscope and you are going to tell me what part is that. And after that, I will give you the function and then you are going to identify which part is that. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so what is that part? Correct! That is the arm. How about this one? Correct! That is the eyepiece. How about this one? Correct! That is the revolving nose piece. And this one? You are right. That is the objective lens. Great job! And for the last part, you are right. That is the diaphragm. Great job, class! Now, I am going to give you the function and then you are going to identify its part. So, number one, it serves as support for the whole microscope. What is that? Correct! That is the base. How about this one? It is used to make the image become clearer and more focused. Correct! That is the fine adjustment knob. And this one, it magnifies the image you are going to observe in the microscope. 
grip, that is the objective lens. And those are the parts and function of our compound microscope. The eyepiece, the body tube, the coarse adjustment knob, the fine adjustment knob, the revolving nose piece, the objective lenses, the arm, the stage and the stage clip, the diaphragm, the mirror, and the base. Good job, class! You answered our activity very well. That is all for our today's lesson. So remember that microscope is really a big help to us, this, especially this time of pandemic. Because without this, scientists cannot study well the behavior of virus since they are too small to be seen by the naked eye. And that is the important role of microscope in our current situation. I hope that you learned something in this video. Don't forget to share this video to your classmates because sharing is caring and knowledge is power. Again, I am your grade 7 science teacher for today, Miss Lady Lee G. Serrano. Goodbye class and thank you for watching!